We're finally <laughs> going to get to you. see some results of NA versus EU. This game, though, was completely one-sided for Fnatic. They dominated Cloud9 for minute one. I guess EU is better than NA. <laughs> Do you feel like we've already seen today that, that NA is greater than EU? And on this day, your Rift rival champions, TSM, declare NA greater than EU. Who is better, NA or EU? One of the biggest debates in League of Legends history. Both regions have had their ups and downs throughout the years. And in honor of the first Rift Rivals tournament coming to a close, we put together the best of NA versus EU. Strategy as well as offensive here. The Asher are going down. Does he have his ultimate? Blasting her back. Huge amount of damage and instantly melted by Fnatic. Well played, knowing they could take that one down. Not taking any damage within the fight. DK will be the one taking, and it looks like this will be game. However, they do have three members coming up right now, so they may be able to push him off. No, it's going to be a 5v2 situation. And ladies and gentlemen, Fnatic able to push CLG back to the fifth place game. And that is a GG. Fnatic wins two over CLG, needing one here at DreamHack. Fnatic played very well, and they picked very well, and they just totally outpicked us. Still have an equalizer, but an absolute zero hit fully channeled down. That could just be enough to melt down EU as is. And here goes Hotshot going in. Oriana Ball is in the middle of everybody. One that tagging on the stupid and Wicked. There's the absolute zero. Looks like Hotshot GD is going to fall, but Maokai has been eliminated by Double Lift's Twitch. Now go down to Frog and has to flash away. Gets a light binding down on the two members, but not on the Double Lift. Chasing after double kill now acquired by Twitch. Zyra Root's going to stop him in place. Is he going to be able to get a triple kill? No, NA going to back off, and that is what they wanted to have happen. There's the command shot by Morian, but the equalizer goes across Big Fat LP and Loco Doko. True Shot Barrage almost snipes that GG. That was a very dangerous spot for CLG and A to be in. Oh! oh! will feel the deal, though, and that is a dead Oriana. Inhibitor is going to go down. They no longer have the command shockwave. Their combo is a little bit disoriented here, and can CLG and A hold on? All their inhibitors are down. Hotshot decides to go in here. He's going to get absolutely dropped by the entire team of CLG EU. Now only three members remaining on the side for CLG and A. One Nexus turret goes down. The second one melting almost instantaneously. Chalice are getting caught in those roots. The Luxley is up again. Double it takes a huge chunk of damage from the skills being thrown out there. Malkai ultimate across the Nexus. CLG EU gonna take the game against NA. Advance 2-0 in their group. And NA is gonna have to play Team Fear for the second time this tournament. EU can do anything about this one. So they're gonna lose a turret in this engage. They can see Froggen backing off. He stood on top of that ward. So they know they're gonna be down to a 4v5 in this area. So we do have Froggen actually going down to deal with Hotshot though. They're starting on this Baron. There goes the Oriana Command Protect as well as the Stan United already. So Ari it's actually completely out of position for that. Well, they knew it. I mean, the Froggen just went back. They know it's a 4v5. They realize it. There is no big tanky item. There's no burst damage in there. The CLG EU are in trouble. And there goes the Baron. Wicked's now completely out of position. Is he going to turn it around? They're grouping up. He's going to have to flash through. Or is he going to use his ultimate on them? They are getting into position to try and defend this one. They might catch him out of position. Here comes Froggen. Froggen coming up behind them. Wicked having to use his ultimate because of the Sam Army catching them out there. Froggen comes up the back there. Double lift is in all sorts of trouble. He's had to try and evacuate Loco. Doko's Second down very low as well. They're gonna come across. Wicked goes across. What were you doing, Wicked? Wicked tries to use his unstoppable force to get across, but gets caught out. That's gonna be Chouster going down instead. Now they're catching on to Snoopy. Snoopy goes down to double lift. Froggen picks up a kill. It's a two for two so far. And now Yellow Pete is gonna try and cause the damage, but the Hotshot GG is gonna take chase through. He might catch a taunt as he dashes through. They all avoid the damage. Two shot barrage goes across. Big Fat LP taking down very low. Yellow Pete's going for Big Fat LP. Can he catch him out? No, he can't. Yellow Pete's in trouble now. Double lift takes him down. And it's a three for two. And CLG NA again coming out on top. And that was all about Froggen backing away on so top the of the wall. The team are going to have to close in. Hotshot GG is going to go down to Froggen. I'm not sure if he's got the mana to deal with it. Meanwhile, in the base, they're going to close in there. Loco Doka is going to. The shockwave goes out. It's not going to catch him. There's the unstoppable force. Double is going to get taken out very low. Crescendo goes across. Hot stand United coming across. Is it going to be enough? Double lift is just about surviving. They've still not taken Double lift down. And that's going to be Yellow Pete. He does take down Loco Doka. There's just one more. The can they sneak? on towards him, there's going to be one, charm. and they do manage to catch him, and that's going to be a double kill, is it enough, that's the question, Froggen's pushing on down the bottom lane, 
Froggen is gonna get on the aim and say he's got two super minions beaten on his backside. He will leech that back with his bloodthirster already. Already, Loco Doko gets extreme low, but still uses that lock of the iron slurry he's had to keep his, him and his team alive. Oh, they're going for it, they're going for it. Loco Doko's getting caught out here. Loco Doko's gonna get dropped. Chowston now being the second target. And as it always happened, Dominic managing to try and get involved. Chowston second down very low. Shockwave back up. Shockwave lands. Yellow Peach getting shredded. Dominic picks up a kill. Dominic threatens to get another kill. Dominic goes down and the Yellow Peach on towards them. Big Foul P uses the Zonia's Hourglass. He's on the turn. He's going to get caught out, but Froggen goes to the turn. Guardian Angel manages to get popped. Yellow Peach comes back. CLDEU are going to take it. They are finally, finally going to finish the game. 65 minutes gone in this one. 40 to 20. CLDEU go through to the lower bracket final to face a Zubu Blaze. What a game. What a match between these two, Tom. And I finally figured out CLG EU strategy. They wanted to crest over 100,000 gold in that <laughs> game. Uh, Alex's ulti has just been used up by Galio there. The Rayman's going to know it. Hema goes in, gets the stun down. Actually, they're getting a lot of damage on towards Alex here. They're going to go around. Will he manage to take him down? Yes, they will. Alex goes down. Moscow 5 pick up the Baron in amongst all that. Reginald being targeted this time around. Tarek does go down. I think Reginald might go down to the Ignite. He does have health ticking away. Genji does manage to get the kill on Rayman as well. Chaos is surely going to get taken down we should probably add at that point as well to try and get away from it i see darian he's gonna try and flash away there's the ulti Great. across and they managed to pull one in there Tariq goes down ulti from alex is gonna catch a couple of them odd one goes low there goes the ulti from darian as well he's in the pack here he's got four guys around him Expecial's gonna drop as well rain man is going to fall we did see shivana finally going down to reginald in the monks everything however surely they're gonna have this one alex oh. has got the power to tank that turret and they are going to take down all five there is the ace coming up behind the odd one the odd one actually taking a huge amount of damage that's going to be the ulti from darian there he's going to continue diving the odd one will go down to darian now they're going to be at a two on one position can they pull rayman away from wow. the turret yes they can ulti coming out from carthus i'm not sure if it's going to quite be enough darian almost going to go down he will pick up the kill very nicely played and now reginald in all sorts of trouble ulti goes down De reginald is dead he is not going to get out of this one very very well played by oh, moscow darian. five <laughs> And, uh, you know, they're going to lose out to this one, unfortunately. Moscow 5 with six men alive right now, since they've got that Ghost there with them for a little bit of help as well. And they are going to go straight in onto the Nexus. And Moscow 5 are going to win the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge here in Kiev in front of a crowd that absolutely loves them and has done for this whole weekend. I think Cloud9 will be really tough to face, but I'm kind of happy that we're facing them solely in the tournament because there's always been this NAU conflict and now we finally get to see like some actual results instead of just talk. Who wins this gets to brag for an entire year. This is not a pace race they want for sure and Fnatic, they're not done here because they still see two members backing off the top lane. They could go straight for the inhibitor turret. They will. They're going to go right for this. There's still an Ash and a Sona in the lane. They just got back to base. The turret goes down. Now Cloud9 engages. They go for Pekka and he's not really the right target because the Stranglethons is going to bounce Meteor's up. That's going to be high going down. Massive kill for Fnatic here. See, Sneaky, he's going to get dropped as well. Crescendo simply saves the life. It takes Cyanide down. But four members of Fnatic are still alive in the base and three members of Cloud9 are already dead. Straight off though, Peke picks up one. Peke gonna close in towards Lemonation. He's gonna be the next focus target. There it is, the Rift Walk Force Pulse. Straight on towards High gonna be next. Sneaky goes down off the side. Peke's gonna roam it in. There's the triple kill. And it's Fnatic cleanup duty. That's an ace. Just destroyed Cloud9. Game one of the quarterfinals is the season three World Championships will go to Europe's Fnatic. And this is still a very tight battle, I feel, though, because that game went close for 25 minutes. Zin gets vision, gets a chunk on towards Sneaky. So as it's going to come in, Shadow Dash is available. Who will he lock for? It's going to be Sneaky. Meteor's taking down. Cyanide goes in there as well. The Smite fight might be on. Will they get it? Yes, Meteor's they got will. it. Cloud9 got it, but they're all oh, taking too much damage. The Force Pulse comes out. Balls is going to get taken down. Hit right in the name by Soaz. And that will be surely the ace for Fnatic. Now Paranoia going out. Tom Pushu, that's going to be the focus target. But Meteos has gone very deep. Oh, the ultimate comes out from Yellowstone. Catches them all down. Good damage. First kill finally for Cloud9. Catching on towards it. Stranglethorn bounces Yellowstone in the air. Peke but is, is it enough? 
Peke comes back in there. He gets on towards Lamination. Paul's being taken down by this support just off the side there. Peke goes around. He gets himself the triple. And Fnatic keep driving on home the victory. Out. Paul's is drawing, put some damage down. Hemo play goes towards Sino. Tries to get the kill. Yellow Star does go down. That's the second kill of the game for Cloud9. But it is going to be another triple for Peke. Here comes the Quadra. They're going to give it to him. Yes, they are. It is Peke dominating 11-0-7. Fnatic are going to go through to the semi-finals, taking down the North American champions, Cloud9. It was a great series. This game, though, was completely one-sided for Fnatic. They dominated Cloud9 for minute one, and that has got to feel good. Here they go, though. Part of it. They are going for the Baron again. It does not look like they have a way to walk out of this one without taking damage on the backside. The wall goes down. They pressure him in. There's the first locket to stop some Baron damage. They begin to fight. Expecto, the Cataclysm to the backside is right on to Skara. He is shredding Soaz in Diamond right now. The first kill coming out. Full health. Oh, uh, Soaz, they are still going. Double lift with full health in this fight. As Requiem comes down, he flashes into safety. And a kill on the Yellow P. Here comes that Guardian Angel. The one, two, three. No, he misses it. But he shifts back in. Another four on to go for Double just getting out Penta! Triple kill for this. The one kill. Penta for double. Penta kill. Double it. Wow. What a way to get an ace at the end of a 48-minute game. Looks like North America is just cruising down for this Nexus. They're giving up. That turret's falling fast. There's the Verisault, but he gets hooked. Chain on Corruption onto his special. His special is locked out, but he did get the box down right before. Double lift on the back line, not taking any damage. Dyer is doing some great peeling. Skara damaging and lowering the fight. It's double lift still alive. The Requiem to come down to the fight. Oh my god, it hit him as soon as he came up from Guardian Angel. Amazing. Diamond gets taken out for a few shots. Will they be able to take this down? Diamond looking very grim. One, two, three. Ezreal to come in. Four Double for two. to get the Nexus turret. Can that work tower? I think NA has it. They're going to finish off the Nexus. It's going to be the Nexus. It's going to be Double S Pentakill. They're going to carry this one on. And it's going to be North America. Moving on. Yeah, and he's definitely going for the Trinity Force right now. I assume it's a product of, well, never mind, Meteor. He's going to put that damage to good use. So as getting 1v1 to sign out in trouble as well. A nice Bolt Breaker there. Going to knock him back. And Olaf getting towered over Peke. We're coming out to try and save him. Highs up the top here, though. It's 3v2 as Meteor gets the double kill. Can he make it three years? Peke's going to go out as well. And he does make the trip. There's Fresh going down as well, and Reckless the only one left alive. And that Cloud9 maybe going to take it. They are indeed, they're going to get down the Nexus. 2-0 North America in the Battle of the Atlantic. Congratulations to Cloud9. They also get revenge for their loss at World. Stop this one. Yeah, they're pinging it. They've got a ward there, right there. You can see it straight on it. You can see Camera Shard's going to teleport in in a moment. But instead, Nick comes around the side. The stun lands onto Zion Spar and he can just throw everything at him. Whoa. Shockwave just obliterates him, though. Can they turn this one back around? Absolute Pinoy's zero. Minions. Followed by the Crescendo. Pinoy's still pushing. He's on the Nexus turrets right now, while the rest of Gambit keep them busy. This is a circus right now. Diamond is going to get caught out. Double if gets focused on. Camera Shard trying to lock him down. They do manage to get Diamond. Meanwhile, I don't see, I don't think he got, yes, he got a Nexus. Just do it down. What do you believe it? Pinoy managing to back away. This could be Gambit taking the Intel Extreme Masters. They're going to take down Double Lift there as well. Zion spots and now the only man left alive here for CLG. He's not going to be able to do anything against four Gambit players hammering away on the Nexus. They'll take that down and Gambit Gaming are the champions of the Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. And Snowball lands. Oh. Blood Boy will land Corky there. I'm not sure they're afraid of the Careful, kick it turns around. This could be really bad for TSM. Santorin gets a good channel off, but kick is right at the back, doing all the damage. It's a double kill coming out for Vardax. Can they now lock down Bjergsen and Love Boy? Kick is trying to dash off European LCS team that a lot of people were criticizing because they might not be good enough. Bjergsen caught! Completely caught out. He will go down. He did get his ulti off, but will that be able to save the team again? A stun from Power of Evil. Love Boy will drop. That's a double for Power of Evil. They hook in Dyrus. It's a triple now for Syndra, and they're going to push here. This is towers going down. Yep, that's going to go down really easy. And the unicorns of love are pushing yeah. right in. They Where'd take off Nexus turrets. The Nexus now being focused down. Love Boy comes in. Oh, look at the damage to the Nexus. They're going to get it. The unicorns of love go through into the final of the Intel Extreme Masters San Jose after a base race. But they get the middle turret. Lamination taken down low. 
will just about get away and well everything being burned Whoa. on Raptors have they got him they still finally take him down but is it what's it going to cost them Shook taken low he drops off Cataclysm on Brogan Cloud9 turned the game on its head right now pick up kill after kill themselves in as they go straight in Cataclysm Brogan down wow they just destroyed them Wicked manages to get in and get one kill on balls but that is all they're going to get from this one Sneaky keeps on chasing around that's Wicked down it's three members left then he near from Reckless just running away. Cloud9 are low on the hit points, but they cannot fight them right now. They've got a Baron buff still. Meteo's still wearing the Baron buff, and they're going on the Nexus turret. That Nexus turret is low, remember. It was already drilled down. Cloud9 can try and finish the game. Reckless second low already. He tries to get around the side, has to dash away. One Nexus turret. Is it going to be the second? Yes, it will. Cloud9 try and finish the game right here. Reckless got out. Cloud9 will take the game and go through to the finals in the Intel Extreme Masters here in San Jose. Trying to slow them down, but definitely agree with you. It seems to be the thought process behind it. Huni, though, he's not really going to enjoy this. Gets the knock up Hop Seal. He's going to get a shield back down. That's going to be enough to kill him. Oh, oh flash! Flash Gets him out in time. It's still a flash down. Can you really call it an outplay? Huni's missing a lot. But be careful. Here. Here's the jump in. It's a two man ult. He catches balls. Sneaky is out. There's a turret alive. They've got to be careful. A big knockback, and that's the kill into Mercada. Azir goes down as well, but the dunks are coming through. A double kill for balls. A triple kill for that's balls. Nice. Holy cow, the Sinai goes again, but it's not kill! kill for balls! Holy cow! That's why he's been picking Darius. It's Cloud9 who did it, the fourth that no one counted in. The seventh place North American LCS team. The Cinderella story is still alive. They are undefeated in the World Championship, and Cloud9 are three and zero! Honestly, I, I didn't even saw that pentakill coming. I just saw Dunking, 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 and then like the last person barely gets away, and it's like penta kill. And it's like <laughs> holy shit. And then we also ended the game off that, so it was pretty crazy. You're taking the win. Let's take a look, Hooney. Counter Strike is charging. That's a four man stun. Bjergs is already down. The uh, glacial path is up. Now Meteos is in trouble. He's gonna look for the travel, not gonna find it. Get globulated. Even so, not going to be able to do a whole lot, I don't think, against Garen. this cannon. Yes, Fence Garen is coming in. Bjergsen in tow, but the TP is coming through now from Exile. Oh, good Can he turn it around? Yeah, good kick to keep him away. But Fence Garen goes back in, getting taken low. Exile trying to burst him out. Now Moo is on the move, runs in, has the ghost, gets on the Bjergsen, the gravity well. Not going to be able to lock up anybody as Exile just jumps right out of it with a rip walk. And El Hanser, he is going to go down, snaps back, but there's nothing that he can do. A triple kill coming in for the Cassidy. Absolutely huge going over to him. There's so much gold falling into the hands of Unicorns. Oh, oh, oh double so cosmic mining finds Sven Skarin and Bjergs Nitros and the gravity field. Looks like it will find Hillsight. There it is, the afterburn of the death ray. Takes him out. Boom's going to go down as well as Sven, Ka Sven, ha, Sven Skarin. Can't say his name. Gets the kill. And that's going to be the double kill. The Chachi coming in. Gets on the wild turtle. Trying to burn him down. That's going to be the kill coming in. They take out Exile. There's a Chachi, the last standing member. He's going to go down. The triple kill for Bjergsen. And TSM finds an ace over Unicorns of Love. Are you kidding me right now? Um, I think maybe NA is better right now, but only because of EU, you know, because of EU players. They spot the Chachi on the sidelines. Haunts her immediately going to deal with him. XL jumps in, almost kills him. It's oh, a snapback. Since Garen goes down, Bilefrost sitting in the slicing maelstrom has to get out of there. Glacial Fisher comes through. Exile now whittling them down, and Wild Turtle all on his lonesome. A triple kill for Exile, and just like that, TSM, their flame gets snuffed out. The semifinal, and they're going on to the final later today. UOL with the 2017 roster get an early start and punch their ticket to the finals of Oakland. What a hard fought game from both sides, but Unicorns in the end, they're finally able to pull it off. Now they're like, oh guys, do we fight this or do we rush back to our to base? Force it. They're the saying force. that they're going to force this. Now Trick should probably not go for a steal and not give away the kill, but middle inhibitor turret is dead. The inhibitor is gone as well. Now can they get a fight here in the 5v3 where they lose their base first? G2 are still pushing for the Nexus in the bottom left corner of your screen. They're still rushing for the base and TSM has to get back there to defend it or they're going to lose the game. And G2 looks like they have enough time. Hauser trying to stop them, but back inside the base. Pushing the top side, 20 second respawn. They're gonna get him. They're gonna get the damage. Oh, 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 they're gonna get the damage. 50 minutes in, 15 second death timers. In they go. TSM still against the.
clock. It's going to be close. I think they have it, though. With the two no, on the it. it's Nexus, over. it's, it's going to be it. The Nexus current number two is down. The Nexus going to fall in TSM. In oh the strangest God. game I have cast. Take the win over G2. Europe are way ahead of North America right now, and it's not even close. Check mid. I have a challenge, I have a challenge. You can use go, 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 go. Jin, Jin, Jin. Are you fighting? Stun him, stun him, stun him. Oh, bro, I'm just killed, bro. 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 Well, it feels like it's happening. Oh, man. Soraz a little bit late on the flash. The barrel comes out. Look at oh, this fight! Oh. Soraz, you beauty! Well, Bjergsen is covering here on the top side. How are they going to look for him right now? See if they can take him down. He's rooted and stopped up. Featherstorm, he pushes him back. An auto attack. Oh! oh. They needed, but Bjergsen turns it around! They just run it down mid. Now they're Chachi. looking to keep the action going. But the Chachi in trouble could get picked off. Does go Mega. Does try to turn this one back. Uses the Gargoyle Stormblade. Oh! The oh. 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 Smarted unicorns of love. Whew, that was close. Do you feel like we've already seen today that, that NA is greater than EU? Oh man, I, I don't think you can judge off of just one day because I think a lot of things can change. It comes down to which teams are adapting the best throughout the tournament to the opposite meta. I can't say NA meta is better or EU meta is better, but obviously there's been different priorities and the teams from both regions are going to try to adjust to what the other teams are playing, and then we're just going to see who comes out ahead in terms of that. North America is leading the fan vote at the moment, and they're leading the expectation as we load up for Rift Rivals Finals. It's an Ash Arrow called the Mimic. I think that was the ultimate of LeBlanc, is now Sven Skeren. He's oh, looking Samux. for Samux. Samux with the Feather Storm, forced to flash to safety. A great gnaw! Buys enough time for Samux to escape. Haunts' barrel was better! Sven Skeren gets the first kill, followed quickly by Devilin, Bjergsen, another for Sven Skerin. TSM, Ace, Unicorn. Clean Ace, and that's going to be Baron. TSM looking to put North America on the top. And on this day, your Rift rival champions, TSM, declare NA greater than EU. TSM were able to break the curse, and they were able to redeem that record against you. Definitely. So I think the EU teams just kind of got caught up in a certain meta, and I think that they're going to adapt a lot for Worlds. And I know that especially G2 is still going to look strong at Worlds, and the Asian region is just still looking pretty strong. So this doesn't give me any kind of overconfidence going into international events, because we're going to be facing extremely strong teams. What's your stance on the NA versus EU debate? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching! If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button!